So we're moving through some of the technical issues here at the moment. So just to start off with, I just wanted to maybe show what some of, some of the pre-arranged planters that we have in stock. And there's a lovely selection of those. These are all ready to plant. They're spaced out within the, um, within the containers. So you just have to remove the lid, plant it into the compost. And I'll show you that in a moment. So in those ones, they can go straight into your pots, containers, and the mix of colour is already there. So colour for the summer, starting them off now in your pots and containers. There's also a selection here that you could put straight into the ground. These have a paving slab removed, but you could put them into your flower beds or you could put them into your pots. So lots of lovely colour there in those mixes as well. And they're all available in store and online. Um, another one that's great for your pots and containers ready to go is a mix here we have a couple of different uh, mixes in these and they're ready to plant for your window boxes so if you only had a balcony or wanted to put something on your windowsill all the varieties that are in these pots are compact so they'll be suited to your window boxes color for the summer lots of um, good plants there for pollinators as well so that's another one ready to go just removing it from the outer packaging and the bulbs are all spaced out so you don't even have to have to work out how they're going to go into it. So we're going to start off maybe just using one of these just to show you how easy it is to create a little bit of colour in your pots and containers. So I have, these are actually a plastic pot, have a ceramic look to it, um, very lightweight so you can move them around if you need to. And I've put some compost in just with these containers suited to your indoor or outdoor plants, they have a little plug in the bottom that you can remove. So it just makes it easy. and um, You don't have to add holes into drainage. You can just remove that little plug uh, at the base. And I've just put some of our um, multi-purpose compost into that. So these are planted about 10 centimeters down. So you're looking at about that much down in your, in your base. So with this, you're literally just have to remove the, the top and then you can see all the bulbs are arranged. Um, some of them might need to be turned over. So that's the, the gladiola. So you're looking at the, the base facing down. The bulbs will work their way through. And it's freesia that's in the, the mix here as well. So I'm just going to sit that into the container, as I say, about 10 centimetres down, pointy side up with the bulbs. And then just topping that up with compost such an easy way to start adding a bit of color into the garden and this time of year it's like a switch we all get excited about getting out in the garden while the ground might be wet and we might be able to to get out and do too much we still want to be active and getting that color set up in the garden. So that's how easy that they are, just to get them into the pots, cover them with compost, water them, put them somewhere um, sheltered in the garden, and then sunny spot for the summer, color for months in the summer with that one. So that's, um, those are there. Same with the window boxes, the containers that you can just add them in, and have that color available to you, and all of them are available on our website, um, or you can talk to somebody in store. So lots of colour mixes there. So the next, um, I suppose, mix, which I love, one of my favourites, um, these here are a mix put in, but this is an arrangement which is cut flowers, and you have your Xantidisha, your Gladiola, your um, two varieties of Dahlia, and I love cut flowers. I have flowers in the house every day of the summer. I love going out and cutting flowers. Some people wouldn't touch the flowers in the garden that they're there for their own mental display, but I love, I love having flowers in the house as well. So that mix, I just think is fantastic. Um, another mix, which I think, again, the arrangements here, the work is taken out of it for you. This is one called Urban Garden. And it's, I suppose, again, a mix, that, and we have them in individual packs as well, but this takes the work out. These are, a combination put together, um, Santidisha, Crocosmia, Gladiola, Dahlia, that you can take them out of the pack and maybe I'll just show you what's in the pack just so you can see um, that you're not trying to, to work out how to divide up or what to do with all the bulbs. So when you get your 
your bag holds, as I say, urban garden. You can put this in your patio if you only have a balcony. You can put these into your pots. You can put it into one large pot. You can arrange it as you need to. But what you get when you get your pack is you get your four, in this particular one, there's four different varieties. So you don't have to, to struggle too hard to see you know, how to separate them out. So they'll be labeled on the bags that they come in. So that's the variety, the amount are all in those. So as you take them out of your pack, you can see what's in them. And then listed at the back of your, your bag gives you instructions of how tall the, the flower will be and your distance for planting in your depth and your spacing. So as I say, you can put these into your pots, containers. If you haven't got the, the garden space, if you have a balcony, you know, again, to have your pots and containers ready to go. So that's um, a, a selection that I think is, um, is great. One pack and you have your selection going. Another one that's put together as a mix, which is fantastic, is fragrant flowers. So again, in the garden, having your scented flowers um, to draw you in, or if you cut flowers, bringing them into the house, um, a nice combination. So lots of combinations there, and they're, I think, a, a brilliant buy to, to get the colour into the garden as well. Um, another one that I find the work has taken out of it for, for us all is these patio containers. Sometimes with lilies and dahlias it's hard when you're standing looking at the massive choice on the wall which ones can i put in pots and containers some lilies can be very tall and need support sometimes might be uh, a little bit harder to manage in a pot uh, the same with the dahlias you know they, they can topple over and decide which ones so these ones are already there so you, you'll see when they're called patio container they're already suited for putting into your pots so there's lovely selection of lilies lilies one of my favorites i love Love lilies, we'll always have pots of lilies in the garden as well. Um, suited to pa patio, tubs, containers. So there's a selection of those there. Also in the patio selection, there's begonias. So lots of choice and colour in those as well. Um, Zantadisha, a fantastic flower as well for giving great colour and real impact in a pot. So you have, um, I suppose, uh, a colour that maybe a choice would be pinks to be whites so lots of variety in those as well and uh canna so again canna can be um a taller flower but that variety would would suit a pot and container as well so in those ones i think they're definitely um an ease and again with these ones maybe what i'll do is i'll show you um one of those i i suppose one of the questions that came up um on what size of pots so with most of these patio pots or containers, um, they have enough bulbs in. This is about a 30 centimetre pot. You could go a little bit smaller with it, but something in around that size for, or you know, go smaller with it if you want to, for your lilies, your begonias, any of these that come in that patio selection. So what I'll do is I'll plant up one of them, again, just to show you the ease of um, doing these. Begonias are great for a shaded spot. A lot of the summer bulbs like sunshine. Um, but begonias flower like this year I'd say November and begonias were still in flower they, they'll just go non-stop and give a great display might be a little bit later flowering so don't expect the colour to come in in June or mid-July so by mid-July end of July you'll have July, August, September um, colouring in so one of the questions that somebody was asking so with these pots again just remove the plug so you have drainage in them um, was um, a late summer wedding, so August, September time, what could I put in now? So you can think that far ahead for your summer, for your summer colour, for your wedding colour. So um, begonias are fantastic. Pots, containers, hanging baskets, they give colour right through to the end of the summer, even on to into October. Um, another great one for that is your dahlias. Dahlias Give such a great display, they'll just keep coming the whole summer. So again, with these ones, this particular one has a mix, whites, reds, pinks, nice selection in it. And as I said, the patio container makes it, makes it easy. It gives you all your instructions here again on what depth to plant, where, where, how deep to go with it, how the spacing that you put it into. So the, the instructions are all available on the pack for you to follow. So with these, I'll just empty them out just to show you these. 
or the, the goings can be a little bit odd in, in which way is up and which way is down when you come to look at it because there's no I suppose obvious roots that you'll see coming out of them but they will have a little hollow in the centre so if you think of the you know if you have your hand turned they'll have a little hollow and the hollow faces up so that's when you're putting in your begonias you sometimes might see little shoots have started and with those not putting them too deep so just putting them spreading them out and five might seem a bit sparse when you initially put it in but they'll fill out and you'll have such a display of colour so again you're looking at where that little hollow is as you're putting them in. And then just putting a shallow layer on top. So not going too too um too deep with the, the going. And then with that, I suppose putting them this time of year. Someone was wondering, is it too early to start planting? You could start planting, so putting them in now, we still have maybe a risk of frost that will come um, into February, into March. So you can plant them now, but maybe put them somewhere sheltered. So if you have your polytunnel, your greenhouse, your shed, that you can have them started off, that if the cold weather comes, they would still have some protection. Um, and then as the, you know, the weather improves, put them out on your brighter days and let them get, get started. But just with begonias, you would want to be keeping an eye on the weather, that you're not planting them too early, that you're at a risk of frost. Okay, so that's the patio ones. Big selection in store as well. Fantastic for colour, fantastic for months and months. Um, easy once they're, once they're going, just keep an eye on the watering, a little bit of deadheading, and you'll have colour for the whole summer right through into the autumn with those. Okay, so that's one, one there that is definitely um, worth looking at. Another, I suppose, one where the ease of these and the choice, the selection, the colour, there's just so much in store. But this one here, lovely combinations. Um, gladiola, I suppose, can be tall in the garden and maybe you might have the space uh, to put them in. But even in a pot or container, you could put them in. Give it a good sized pot, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You could put it into a, a plastic pot that you have lying around, put your drainage holes into it, put them into a sunny spot. And I'll just show you here what we have in store um, available online as well, our plant supports. So in your large pot, these are just a semi-circle plant support. You could have them there to support your, your gladiola as they come up, up along. There's this type here that they can come up through it. And again, easy to manage, just put it in on top of the pot. And then as the grow comes up, um, they'll be supported. So lots, of supports in store, different sizes available um, to work with the, the taller plants in the garden or in your pots and containers if you need it. So lilies might suit as well. And as I said, those pots with the combinations have a fantastic mix, loads available up on the website or in store, mixes with dahlias, more mixes of colors. So the color, combinations are fantastic to work through again you can see the mix of the color in dahlias in gladioli in lit in the lilies lots available for you to choose from so moving on one of my favorites and these are ones that were in my, my own wedding bouquet, so a long time ago now, but ones that I'd always have in the garden. I always have for cut flowers as well. Um, I love lilies. And even with the lily beetle, I still deal with them because I just love them. It wasn't as much a problem last year, um, I, I suppose, depending, uh, but still, I wouldn't be without the lilies. So again, lots available. These ones here um, are a really tall variety. So would need a support in the garden even though they have strong solid stems come back year after year so once you have them and um, they're a fantastic one you can see the height of it there and um, up to i suppose a meter a meter and a half very tall and then we have the more compact varieties like say compact that could be 80 90 centimeters but fantastic for cut flower scented um, again with the patio ones lots lots and lots and lots to choose from in store 
Now, so one other thing um, here with the, the planting, just to show you again, because these, I think, are fantastic dahlias in a combination. So each of these has five different varieties in the pack. So there's yellows, there's reds, there's pinks, there's orange. So there's maybe five or six different choices of these. Um, and also in the style or the type of, um, of flowering, you know, with the pom-pom or the, the different heights. So some would be more compact, some would be taller. So you could put them into pots, put them into the garden. One thing with lilies or with the days is they don't always overwinter in the ground. So um, managing whether you're going to take them up or take a chance. So that's one thing with the day is um, some, sometimes I, it depends. I, sometimes I go to the trouble of taking them up and then rooting around in your garage. So now's the time if you've taken up your dahlias to start going through to see what you have put away in storage for the winter to take them out now and see what's um, good, to, good to plant on again. So what I would normally do with the dahlias is if I've taken them up over the winter, take, taking them out and dusting them off, making sure they're good to go. But I would start them off maybe in pots and containers rather than putting them into the ground and even coming in to get them in the garden so if you're doing them now at this time of year so maybe from March, April, May you could go on into the ground but when there's still risk of frost starting them off in your pots and containers and then you can transfer them into the ground or you could leave them in the pot you might have a gap in the garden then as the season um, goes on that you can just sit your pot there in your instant colour and um, so I'll just show you the dahlias because the dahlias can be again an unusual one if you're not familiar with it as to what way is up and what am I looking at. So this is fabulous colours again in the dahlias, plain colours as I say in the mixes but just um, vibrant and I think anything with the strong colours or the contrast with yellows and pinks they just stand out in the garden. Fantastic um, ones for colour. So I'll just take it out of the pack just to show you. So there's two in this. So sometimes when we take them out, we're not sure what, what we're looking at or how you go about planting it. So what I, I think when you take them out, you'll always find one part. This, if you think of when the, the dailies were in the ground and at the end of the season, they were cut. So you'll have a, a piece that would have been cut off. So that's the bit that's going to point up. So you're not putting it face down. You're turning that so where, where it would have been cut off when they were taken up in the in the autumn time that's where that's cut and the rest then can be just spread out so that if i was putting that into a pot and maybe i'll just show here so where this pot would be small if i was leaving in it for the season for starting it off if i'm going to plant this out into the garden afterwards so what you can do is have something that size, have your dahlia sitting in it. So as I say, that end up. And then I'm just going to fill it in. So unfortunately with the weather, Irish weather, wet, damp and cold, Dailies don't always overwinter in the ground. If you have a sheltered garden and you've got drainage in your soil, um, you could take a chance on it. So then with the dahlias, when the growth comes up near later on in the summer, you have your gaps, you can take it out and, and put it into, into that area. So that's one with the dahlias. And as I say, they, that has two in it. But height-wise, that particular dahlia can come up to 90 centimetres. So you're looking at that height. You know, it, it, it needs space. So you might say that's two um, in, a, in one pot. You, this pot here would be short term, you wouldn't be leaving it in a pot that size for the summer because of the height and the spread of it. So that's your dahlias there as well. Loads of choice, loads of colour in dahlias as well. Huge selection here in the store or online. So again, ease of colour, planting them now. These are so easy once they're up and in flower, you'll have colour right through to the end of the summer. So you're looking at all, October again for dahlias, fantastic. So that's our, our daily. I'm just, I suppose, mindful of maybe questions that people asked. Um, and one was about the, the daily tubers. So after the risk of frost is gone, if you're putting them into the ground, you could start them off in pots now. And the same way, just managing, you know, the weather, whether it be in a greenhouse polytunnel um, shed. So that's one. 
There was one question somebody had about um, waterlogged soil. Now, most of, of what we would have would be for free draining soil, um, not wet areas, sunny spot mostly. Begonias, as I say, would be well suited to your shade. Um, there was a couple that um, may suit your waterlogged soil in, you know, over the winter, dries out over the summer, um, which one would be our tur turcap lily. So that's one we're trying. Um, as I say, I wouldn't go uh, mass planting, but try it out and see how they go. The other one is the canna. Now the canna won't overwinter in the ground, so you would be taking that up out of it, but if it's kind of a moisture retentive soil, not um, you know, always suited to some of our bulbs, lilies and that, that's one that you could try, but you'd have to take that one up over the winter, so you could leave that one in. So that's um, one for, for a wet area. Lots of other plants maybe that might not be the bulbs that you could put into your wet, wet areas, so probably better to come in and have a look or talk to one of um, our horticulturists with that one. Um, the summer weddings, um, late summer weddings for colour, there is loads that you could put in now for your summer colour for um, your late summer weddings. Dahlias, as I said, the gladioli, flower right through. Procosmia, that's one there now that I haven't um, mentioned and we have it here. Um, we have it here in the mix. Sorry there. So that's one there, Crocosmia, great for wedding, um, summer summer wedding. And I know my own brothers um, got married up in Donegal and my mom and my sister gathered that as the hedge row and it was fabulous. So I always think of that. So Crocosmia, lovely in the bouquets, lovely in the, the, the summer, for the summer uh, wedding as well. Um, and you could have it in the garden. And it's lovely if you can, um, if you're doing the flowers, that you can add something from the garden and mix it, it makes it, um, Special. Begonias, fantastic for colour and again for colour at the house or if you're looking for pots, containers, window boxes, begonias are fantastic. Uh, another one for um, summer, uh, this, this is a pat patio one but agapanthus is another one that once you um, have in it'll be there for years and years. It can take a little bit longer to, to flower so if you were looking for a wedding for this summer you may not have the selection that you need for this year, but it's one there to have in the garden, great for colour as well. So that's one that um, I think for the, those summer weddings, lots of, lots of choice there. So there's one other thing I wanted to mention, and this is, um, I suppose, time of year as well for putting in maybe your onions, your garlic, asparagus so we have lots of varieties um, of the garlic in stock really easy and this time of year now will be the time to get it in like garlic does well when it's had a cold spell so getting it in now it was i suppose before christmas you might have had your garlic in but if you didn't get get the garlic in putting it in very soon these are all actually strong flavored varieties um, so what you're doing with your garlic you're taking your full clove or bulb and then you're breaking it up so you're breaking out your cloves like that just making sure that they're not soft and then you're planting each individual one into the ground and that becomes your bulb so masses from your from your garden if you have a little bit of space sunny spot free draining soil to put in the garlic and lots of varieties there onions as well so we have red onion. These are good, reliable varieties. Centurion, a large onion as well. Sturm. This is one that I know works well in my garden. And it's the only one I put in. I put, always put a little bit of red onion, but I would put in a few drills of that. I still have onions from last summer. Um, they produce a good size onion. They store well. Never had a problem with them, um, you know, them degrading over the the season and as I said still using last season's onions at home. Asparagus, this is another one, I suppose this variety is a red, lots of asparagus available. Um, with the asparagus you're planning ahead, so if you put in your asparagus this season it'll probably be two to three years before you start really um, getting the value out of it, a bit like your rhubarb. So when you're planting this, good instructions there in the front, you're creating a mound and then you're letting the asparagus come out over the side. So as I suppose the first season, moisture retentive soil, 
adding in plenty of organic matter so preparing your bed and if you have a bed of asparagus you'll have it there for years and years so one to if you have the space to get in plan ahead and in a couple of years time you'll have um uh, the value of of the asparagus in, in your asparagus bed so one well worth I mean, if you have the the space for it as well so that's a, a whirlwind tour of some of the bulbs we have available and I would say definitely have a look online have a look at the colour there's masses available loads in one more there I just see that I haven't mentioned are peony roses and again might not be the one that you're starting off for this year but get them in this year and in you know years to come every year you're looking at your colour returning 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 with your peony roses varieties of gladio Gladiola, just again, masses of colour. So easy, putting the bulbs into the ground um, and that's um, the ease of, of those. There's a few items there that can add to it. You have your slow release fertiliser, um, liquid feeds as they move on towards the season or you can add in your slow release as you're planting them. But lots there to get started with all available up on the website or give us a shout here in store and we'll be able to help you out with any of the questions or queries or information and um, also available in our Quaid store so lots lots available to buy in store or online and as I say any questions or queries we're here to help thank you